After the last week of anime blue balling, I want to talk about something that actually ends on a satisfying note, and not on a to be continued, or at the very least not as blatant. I've watched the first season of I'm Standing on One Million Lives, and though I was impressed by it, I don't think it's the right time to discuss it, mostly because I think my impressions on it would be incomplete without a second season, and I don't want it to be another nana. It's like the episode format in video games. <laughs> yeah, remember those? Those are fucking horrible times, when they released a snippet of content that you had to pray they actually continue making the damn thing and not just go bankrupt or run away with your money. Same story, different medium. So instead, let's talk about Wandering Witch, the journey of Elena. Talk about premature ejaculation. The journey of Elena... Elena... Fuck it, The Journey of Angela Merkel is a 12-episode fantasy adventure anime made by Studio C2C that tells us one of my favorite types of fantasy story, of the hero traveling the world for god knows what reason and meeting strange and peculiar shit along the way. It's also one of the few subgenres of visual storytelling that is simultaneously hard and easy to fuck up, because to make a good, let's call it traveler anime, you have to nail three crucial aspects. One, the places the character goes to have to be interesting to look at. Two, the characters our protagonist meets have to be at least slightly sympathetic. Three, the protagonist himself needs to be at least slightly sympathetic, or at the very least interesting to watch. So now that we've established our criteria, let's test. The story begins with young Angela Merkel reading a book about the adventures of her mother traveling around the world, to which Angela Merkel herself seemed to be oblivious to, even though it is telegraphed with the crazy agility of mustard gas bombardment. Then she trains to be a witch, gets a little bit of character development, a pat on the back, and off she goes. From this point onward, her character will never change ever again. I would want to say the usual polite, it's really hard to quantify Angela Merkel's character, but no, it's really not. She's a cunt. A big, flappy, self-aggrandizing cunt, whose ego is probably the size of Copenhagen and probably houses an equally cunty population of cunts. Throughout the series, she mostly has one emotion, which I like to call the European concern, mostly watches the predictably tragic events unfold, and should the events fall under her internal suffering quota, she actively gives advices to them on how to suffer harder. And I already hear you bastards slithering in the comment section telling me, Andy, it's not that bad. She does have a tragic moment to, and the final episode was pretty much about her confronting her egotistical behavior and showing that those moments did affect her. To which I say, yes, confronting and coming victorious in the end. So not only she learned jack shit, she is actively rewarded for being a cunt. The locations she visits aren't that impressive either, they look like a mix of Central and South Central Europe, where every city is treated like its own state and the suspiciously fracture and current looking fonts only confirm this. I did like them though, but it's mostly because I like that historical period, and even then every city after the third episode started looking too gimmicky for my taste, and other characters are roughly categorized in two neatly divided halves. The ones you're supposed to give a shit about, aka the ones that literally steal the episode away, and the rest of the untouchables that get immediately forgotten in about half an episode or so. And don't get me started on the pitiful attempts at humor that more often than not looked out of place. But if you allow me to strip my grumpy pants for a moment, I do understand why people would like Angela Merkel. If I was to describe the show in one word, I guess that word would be enough. It mixes enough colorful and dark moments so that people who don't really think critically when watching anime get fulfilled, it's relaxing enough that the dark moments can catch you off guard, and ultimately I guess Angela Merkel is a likable enough protagonist to root for, though this one has more to do with the fact that most anime watching audience are about as dumb, selfish, and egotistical as her. As far as I'm concerned, though, it is an average travel anime with a protagonist I want to smother with a pillow, and pretty much nothing else besides it. So basically this anime represents my secret desires on what I would do to other people that watch anime. Mm.